Mathematical physics refers to the development of mathematical methods for application to problems in physics. The Journal of Mathematical Physics defines the field as the application of mathematics to problems in physics and the development of mathematical methods suitable for such applications and for the formulation of physical theories. It is a branch of applied mathematics, but deals with physical problems. Topic. Scope There are several distinct branches of mathematical physics, and these roughly correspond to particular historical periods. Topic. Classical mechanics The rigorous, abstract and advanced reformulation of Newtonian mechanics adopting the Lagrangian mechanics and the Hamiltonian mechanics even in the presence of constraints. Both formulations are embodied in analytical mechanics. It leads, for instance, to discover the deep interplay of the notion of symmetry and that of conserved quantities during the dynamical evolution, stated within the most elementary formulation of Noether's theorem. These approaches and ideas can be, and in fact have been, extended to other areas of physics as statistical mechanics, continuum mechanics, classical field theory and quantum field theory. Moreover, they have provided several examples and basic ideas in differential geometry e.g. the theory of vector bundles and several notions in symplectic geometry. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Partial differential equations. The theory of partial differential equations and the related areas of variational calculus, Fourier analysis, potential theory, and vector analysis are perhaps most closely associated with mathematical physics. These were developed intensively from the second half of the 18th century by, for example, D'Alembert, Euler, and Lagrange until the 1930s. Physical applications of these developments include hydrodynamics, celestial mechanics, continuum mechanics, elasticity theory, acoustics, thermodynamics, electricity, magnetism, and aerodynamics. Topic: <laughs> Quantum theory. The theory of atomic spectra and, later, quantum mechanics developed almost concurrently with the mathematical fields of linear algebra, the spectral theory of operators, operator algebras and more broadly, functional analysis. Nonrelativistic quantum mechanics includes Schrödinger operators, and it has connections to atomic and molecular physics. Quantum information theory is another subspecialty. Topic: <inaudible> Relativity and quantum relativistic theories. The special and general theories of relativity require a rather different type of mathematics. This was group theory, which played an important role in both quantum field theory and differential geometry. This was, however, gradually supplemented by topology and functional analysis in the mathematical description of cosmological as well as quantum field theory phenomena. In this area both homological algebra and category theory are important nowadays. Topic. Statistical mechanics Statistical mechanics forms a separate field, which includes the theory of phase transitions. It relies upon the Hamiltonian mechanics or its quantum version and it is closely related with the more mathematical ergodic theory and some parts of probability theory. 
There are increasing interactions between combinatorix and physics, in particular statistical physics. Topic Usage The usage of the term mathematical physics is sometimes idiosyncratic. Certain parts of mathematics that initially arose from the development of physics are not, in fact, considered parts of mathematical physics, while other closely related fields are. For example, ordinary differential equations and symplectic geometry are generally viewed as purely mathematical disciplines, whereas dynamical systems and Hamiltonian mechanics belong to mathematical physics. John Herapath used the term for the title of his 1847 text on "...mathematical principles of natural philosophy", the scope at that time being the causes of heat, gaseous elasticity, gravitation, and other great phenomena of nature. Topic: Mathematical versus theoretical physics. The term mathematical physics is sometimes used to denote research aimed at studying and solving problems inspired by physics or thought experiments within a mathematically rigorous framework. In this sense, mathematical physics covers a very broad academic realm distinguished only by the blending of pure mathematics and physics. Although related to theoretical physics, mathematical physics in this sense emphasizes the mathematical rigor of the same type as found in mathematics. On the other hand, theoretical physics emphasizes the links to observations and experimental physics, which often requires theoretical physicists and mathematical physicists in the more general sense to use heuristic, intuitive, and approximate arguments. Such arguments are not considered rigorous by mathematicians, but that is changing over time. Such mathematical physicists primarily expand and elucidate physical theories. Because of the required level of mathematical rigor, these researchers often deal with questions that theoretical physicists have considered to be already solved. However, they can sometimes show but neither commonly nor easily that the previous solution was incomplete, incorrect, or simply too naive. Issues about attempts to infer the second law of thermodynamics from statistical mechanics are examples. Other examples concern the subtleties involved with synchronization procedures in special and general relativity Sagnac effect and Einstein synchronization. The effort to put physical theories on a mathematically rigorous footing has inspired many mathematical developments. For example, the development of quantum mechanics and some aspects of functional analysis parallel each other in many ways. The mathematical study of quantum mechanics, quantum field theory, and quantum statistical mechanics has motivated results in operator algebras. The attempt to construct a rigorous quantum field theory has also brought about progress in fields such as representation theory. Use of geometry and topology plays an important role in string theory. Topic. Prominent mathematical physicists Topic. Before Newton The roots of mathematical physics can be traced back to the likes of Archimedes in Greece, Ptolemy in Egypt, Alhazen in Iraq, and Al-Biruni in Persia. In the first decade of the 16th century, amateur astronomer Nicolaus Copernicus proposed heliocentrism, and published a treatise on it in 1543. 
he retained the Ptolemaic idea of epicycles, and merely sought to simplify astronomy by constructing simpler sets of epicyclic orbits. Epicycles consist of circles upon circles. According to Aristotelian physics, the circle was the perfect form of motion, and was the intrinsic motion of Aristotle's fifth element the quintessence or universal essence known in Greek as ether for the English pure air that was the pure substance beyond the sublunary sphere, and thus was celestial entities' pure composition. The German Johannes Kepler (1571–1630), Tycho Brahe's assistant, modified Copernican orbits to ellipses, formalized in the equations of Kepler's laws of planetary motion. An enthusiastic atomist, Galileo Galilei, in his 1623 book The Assayer, asserted that the Book of Nature is written in mathematics. His 1632 book, about his telescopic observations, supported heliocentrism. Having introduced experimentation, Galileo then refuted geocentric cosmology by refuting Aristotelian physics itself. Galilei's 1638 book Discourse on Two New Sciences established the law of equal free fall as well as the principles of inertial motion, founding the central concepts of what would become today's classical mechanics. By the Galilean law of inertia as well as the principle of Galilean invariance, also called Galilean relativity, for any object experiencing inertia, there is empirical justification for knowing only that it is at relative rest or relative motion—rest or motion with respect to another object. René Descartes adopted Galilean principles and developed a complete system of heliocentric cosmology, anchored on the principle of vortex motion, Cartesian physics, whose widespread acceptance brought the demise of Aristotelian physics. Descartes sought to formalize mathematical reasoning in science, and developed Cartesian coordinates for geometrically plotting locations in 3D space and marking their progressions along the flow of time. Christian Huygens was the first to use mathematical formulas to describe the laws of physics, and for that reason, Huygens is regarded as the first theoretical physicist and the founder of mathematical physics. Topic: Newtonian and post-Newtonian. Isaac Newton (1642–1727) developed new mathematics, including calculus and several numerical methods, such as Newton's method to solve problems in physics. Newton's theory of motion, published in 1687, modeled three Galilean laws of motion along with Newton's law of universal gravitation on a framework of absolute space. Hypothesized by Newton as a physically real entity of Euclidean geometric structure extending infinitely in all directions while presuming absolute time, supposedly justifying knowledge of absolute motion, the object's motion with respect to absolute space. The principle of Galilean invariance, relativity was merely implicit in Newton's theory of motion. Having ostensibly reduced the Keplerian celestial laws of motion as well as Galilean terrestrial laws of motion to a unifying force, Newton achieved great mathematical rigor, but with theoretical laxity. In the 18th century, the Swiss Daniel Bernoulli (1700–1782) made contributions to fluid dynamics and vibrating strings. The Swiss Leonhard Euler (1707–1783) did special work in variational calculus, dynamics, fluid dynamics, and other areas. Also notable was the Italian-born Frenchman Joseph Louis Lagrange (1736–1813) for work in analytical mechanics. He formulated Lagrangian mechanics and variational methods. 
a major contribution to the formulation of analytical dynamics called Hamiltonian dynamics was also made by the Irish physicist, astronomer and mathematician, William Rowan Hamilton Hamiltonian dynamics had played an important role in the formulation of modern theories in physics, including field theory and quantum mechanics. The French mathematical physicist Joseph Fourier (1768–1830) introduced the notion of Fourier series to solve the heat equation, giving rise to a new approach to solving partial differential equations by means of integral transforms. Into the early 19th century, the French Pierre Simon Laplace (1749–1827) made paramount contributions to mathematical astronomy, potential theory, and probability theory. Simeon Denis Poisson (1781–1840) worked in analytical mechanics and potential theory. In Germany, Carl Friedrich Gauss (1777–1855) made key contributions to the theoretical foundations of electricity, magnetism, mechanics, and fluid dynamics. In England, George Green (1793–1841) published an essay on the application of mathematical analysis to the theories of electricity and magnetism in 1828, which, in addition to its significant contributions to mathematics, made early progress towards laying down the mathematical foundations of electricity and magnetism. A couple of decades ahead of Newton's publication of a particle theory of light, the Dutch Christian Huygens (1629–1695) developed the wave theory of light, published in 1690. By 1804, Thomas Young's double slit experiment revealed an interference pattern, as though light were a wave, and thus Huygens's wave theory of light, as well as Huygens's inference that light waves were vibrations of the luminiferous ether, was accepted. Jean Augustin Fresnel modeled hypothetical behavior of the ether. Michael Faraday introduced the theoretical concept of a field not action at a distance. Mid-19th century, the Scottish James Clerk Maxwell 1831 reduced electricity and magnetism to Maxwell's electromagnetic field theory, whittled down by others to the four Maxwell's equations. Initially, optics was found consequent of Maxwell's field. Later, radiation and then today's known electromagnetic spectrum were found also consequent of this electromagnetic field. The English physicist Lord Rayleigh (1842–1919) worked on sound. The Irishman William Rowan Hamilton (1805–1865), George Gabriel Stokes (1819–1903), and Lord Kelvin (1824–1907) produced several major works. Stokes was a leader in optics and fluid dynamics. Kelvin made substantial discoveries in thermodynamics, Hamilton did notable work on analytical mechanics, discovering a new and powerful approach nowadays known as Hamiltonian mechanics. Very relevant contributions to this approach are due to his German colleague Carl Gustav Jacobi (1804–1851), in particular referring to canonical transformations. The German Hermann von Helmholtz (1821–1894) made substantial contributions in the fields of electromagnetism, waves, fluids, and sound. In the United States, the pioneering work of Josiah Willard Gibbs (1839–1903) became the basis for statistical mechanics. Fundamental theoretical results in this area were achieved by the German Ludwig Boltzmann (1844–1906). Together, these individuals laid the foundations of electromagnetic theory, fluid dynamics, and statistical mechanics. Topic: 
Topic: Relativistic. By the 1880s, there was a prominent paradox that an observer within Maxwell's electromagnetic field measured it at approximately constant speed, regardless of the observer's speed relative to other objects within the electromagnetic field. Thus, although the observer's speed was continually lost relative to the electromagnetic field, it was preserved relative to other objects in the electromagnetic field. And yet no violation of Galilean invariance within physical interactions among objects was detected. As Maxwell's electromagnetic field was modeled as oscillations of the ether, physicists inferred that motion within the ether resulted in ether drift, shifting the electromagnetic field, explaining the observer's missing speed relative to it. The Galilean transformation had been the mathematical process used to translate the positions in one reference frame to predictions of positions in another reference frame, all plotted on Cartesian coordinates, but this process was replaced by Lorentz transformation, modeled by the Dutch Hendrik Lorentz in 1887, experimentalists Michelson and Morley failed to detect ether drift, however. It was hypothesized that motion into the ether prompted ether's shortening, too, as modeled in the Lorentz contraction. It was hypothesized that the ether thus kept Maxwell's electromagnetic field aligned with the principle of Galilean invariance across all inertial frames of reference, while Newton's theory of motion was spared. In the 19th century, Gauss's contributions to non-Euclidean geometry, or geometry on curved surfaces, laid the groundwork for the subsequent development of Riemannian geometry by Bernard Riemann 1826 Austrian theoretical physicist and philosopher Ernst Mach criticized Newton's postulated absolute space. Mathematician Jules Henry Poincaré (1854–1912) questioned even absolute time. In 1905, Pierre Duhem published a devastating criticism of the foundation of Newton's theory of motion. Also in 1905, Albert Einstein (1879–1955) published his special theory of relativity, newly explaining both the electromagnetic field's invariance and Galilean invariance by discarding all hypotheses concerning ether, including the existence of ether itself. Refuting the framework of Newton's theory, absolute space and absolute time. Special relativity refers to relative space and relative time, whereby length contracts and time dilates along the travel pathway of an object. In 1908, Einstein's former professor Hermann Minkowski modeled 3D space together with the 1D axis of time by treating the temporal axis like a fourth spatial dimension altogether 4D spacetime and declared the imminent demise of the separation of space and time. Einstein initially called this, "...superfluous learnedness," but later used Minkowski spacetime with great elegance in his general theory of relativity, extending invariance to all reference frames—whether perceived as inertial or as accelerated—and credited this to Minkowski, by then deceased. General relativity replaces Cartesian coordinates with Gaussian coordinates, and replaces Newton's claimed empty yet Euclidean space traversed instantly by Newton's vector of hypothetical gravitational force—an instant action at a distance—with a gravitational field. The gravitational field is Minkowski spacetime itself. The 4D topology of Einstein ether modeled on a Lorentzian manifold that curves geometrically, according to the Riemann curvature tensor, in the vicinity of either mass or energy. Under special relativity a special case of general relativity. Even massless energy exerts gravitational effect by its mass equivalence locally, curving 
the geometry of the four, unified dimensions of space and time. Quantum Another revolutionary development of the 20th century was quantum theory, which emerged from the seminal contributions of Max Planck (1856–1947) on black-body radiation and Einstein's work on the photoelectric effect. This was, at first, followed by a heuristic framework devised by Arnold Sommerfeld (1868–1951) and Niels Bohr (1885–1962), but this was soon replaced by the quantum mechanics developed by Max Born (1882–1970), Werner Heisenberg (1901–1976). Paul Dirac (1902–1984), Erwin Schrödinger (1887–1961), Satyendra Nath Bose (1894–1974), and Wolfgang Pauli (1900–1958). This revolutionary theoretical framework is based on a probabilistic interpretation of states, and evolution and measurements in terms of self-adjoint operators on an infinite-dimensional vector space. That is called Hilbert space, introduced in its elementary form by David Hilbert (1862–1943) and Frigyes Riesz (1880–1956), and rigorously defined within the axiomatic modern version by John von Neumann in his celebrated book *Mathematical Foundations of Quantum Mechanics*, where he built up a relevant part of modern functional analysis on Hilbert spaces, the spectral theory in particular. Paul Dirac used algebraic constructions to produce a relativistic model for the electron, predicting its magnetic moment and the existence of its antiparticle, the positron. <laughs> List of prominent mathematical physicists in the 20th century Prominent contributors to the 20th century's mathematical physics although the list contains some typically theoretical, not mathematical, physicists and leaves many contributors out, please also note that since the page can be edited by anyone, sometimes less deserved mentions can pop up in the list include, ordered by birth date, William Thomson Lord Kelvin 1824-1907, Oliver Heaviside 1850 to 1925, Jules Henry Poincaré, 1854 to 1912, David Hilbert, 1862 to 1943, Arnold Sommerfeld, 1868 to 1951, Constantin Karathéodory, 1873 to 1950, Albert Einstein, 1879 to 1955, Max Born, 1882 to 1970, George. David Birkhoff 1884 to 1944, Hermann Weyl 1885 to 1955, Satyendra Nath Bose 1894 to 1974, Norbert Wiener 1894 to 1964, Wolfgang Pauli 1900 to 1958. Paul Dirac 1902 to 1984, Eugene Wigner 1902 to 1995, Andre Kolmogorov 1903 to 1987, Lars Onsager 1903 to 1976, John von Neumann 1903 to 1957, Sin Itiro Tomonaga 1906 to 1979, Hideki Yukawa 1907 to 1981. Nikolai Nikolaevich Bogolyubov 1909 to 1992, Subramanian Chandrasekhar 1910 to 1995, Mark K.A.C. 1914 to 1984, Julian Schwinger 1918 to 1994, Richard Phillips Feynman 1918 to 1988, Irving Ezra Siegel 1918 to 1998, Arthur Strong Whiteman 1920 
1922–2013, Chen Ning Yang Rudolf Haag Freeman Dyson Martin Gutzwiller Abdus Salam Jürgen Moser Michael Francis Attia 1929 to 2019, Joel Louis Leibowitz 1930, Roger Penrose 1931, Elliot Herschel Lieb 1932, Sheldon Lee Glashow 1932, Stephen Weinberg 1933, Ludwig D. Fadeyev 1934 to 2017, David Ruel 1935, Yarkov Grigorovich Sinai 1935, Vladimir Igorovich Arnold 1937 to 2010 Arthur Yaffa 1937 Roman Vladimir Jacku 1939 Leonard Suskind 1940 Rodney James Baxter 1940 Michael Victor Berry 1941 Giovanni Galavotti 1941 Stephen William Hawking 1942 to 2018 Gerald Eldon Marsden 1942 to 2010 Alexander Markovich Polyakov 1945 Gerardus T Hooft 1946 John L Cardi 1947 Giorgio Parisi 1948 Edward Witten 1951 Herbert Spawn 1951 Ashik Sen 1956 and Juan Martin Maldacena 1968 Topic. See also International Association of Mathematical Physics Notable publications in mathematical physics List of mathematical physics journals Notes <laughs> <laughs>